brought to you by Wikivd Documentaries. La Marcus Aldridge La Marcus Nere Aldridge is an American professional basketball player. For the San Antonio Spurs of the National Basketball Association, the power forward played college basketball for two seasons at the University of Texas. Aldridge was selected second overall in the 2006 NBA draft. After spending nine seasons with the Portland Trail Blazers, he signed with the Spurs in 2015. He has been selected to four All-NBA teams and is a five-time NBA All-Star. High School Career Aldridge attended Segoville High School, where he became a second-team parade All-American and Texas Association of Basketball Coaches Class 4A Player of the Year. Considered a five-star recruit by Rivals.com, Aldridge was listed as the number four center and the number 16 player in the nation in 2004. College Career Aldridge attended the University of Texas. He declared for the 2004 NBA draft, but ultimately withdrew his name. According to one report, Aldridge's initial decision to attend college rather than entering the pro ranks directly from high school was influenced by Shaquille O'Neal's personal advice that he should go to college and then evaluate his NBA prospects. However, in April 2006, near the end of his second year, Edward Aldridge announced that he would leave college to enter the 2006 NBA Draft. 2006-07 season Aldridge was drafted second overall in the 2006 NBA Draft by the Chicago Bulls, only to have his rights traded to the Portland Trail Blazers for their pick Tyrus Thomas and Victor Kriapa. Shortly after, the Bulls acquired the pick from the New York Knicks in the 2005 Eddie Curry trade. Aldridge missed the first seven games of the 2006-07 NBA season due to off-season shoulder surgery, but returned ahead of schedule due in part to an injury to fellow rookie teammate Brandon Roy. Aldridge made an immediate impact on offense, averaging 8.4 points on 54% shooting from the field through his first 14 games. After the loss of starting center Joel Pribler in February 2007 to season-ending knee surgery, Aldridge was awarded the starting center position and improved his scoring to 14.7 points with 8.0 rebounds per game in the month of March. This placed him second in the voting for the Western Conference Rookie of the Month to Roy. On March 31, 2007, in the first quarter against the Los Angeles Clippers, Aldridge was taken to Providence Hospital in Portland for shortness of breath and a regular heartbeat. He was diagnosed with Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome on April 9, and missed the remaining eight games of the 2006-07 season. Aldridge started 22 games his rookie season. Aldridge was one of six players named to the 2007 NBA All-Rookie First Team. He tied for fifth place with Toronto Raptors player George E. Garbohosa. 2007-08 season Aldridge elevated his play in his sophomore year, with career highs in points, rebounds, assists, blocks and steals, and finished third in voting for the NBA Most Improved Player Award. During this season, Aldridge had injury troubles due to plantar fasciitis, which caused him to miss games from December 11 to December 18, 2007. After the time missed, Aldridge still had some trouble with the foot, but was able to play effectively. 2009-10 season 
In late October, Aldridge signed a five-year, $65 million contract extension with Portland. Before committing to Aldridge, the Trail Blazers finalized a five-year, $80 million deal with all-star Brandon Roy. Aldridge put up similar numbers to the previous season. Early in December, Greg Oden suffered a season-ending injury. Aldridge received more minutes and defensive opportunities as a result. 2010-11 season Aldridge further emerged as both a player and a leader after Brandon Roy went out with knee problems in December 2010. In spite of Portland's Send LA to LA program the NBA All-Star Game was in Los Angeles and Aldridge's nickname is LA. Aldridge failed to get named to the Western Conference squad. He was, however, awarded the NBA Player of the Week for January 17, 23 and February 7, 13, and scored a career-high 42 points against the Chicago Bulls on February 7, 2011. On March 2, he joined Clyde Drexler and Kelvin Randy as the only Blazers to ever receive the NBA Player of the Month award. Aldridge was runner-up to Kevin Love for the Most Improved Player award and voted to the All-NBA third team with 135 votes. 2012-13 season on November 12, 2012, Aldridge recorded a career high eight assists in a 87 95 loss to the Atlanta Hawks. In 2013, Aldridge was named an All Star for the second time in his career. He averaged 21.1 points per game, a career high 9.1 rebounds per game, and also recorded a career-high 2.6 assists per game in 37.7 minutes per game. The Trail Blazers went 33-49 and missed the playoffs for the second straight year. 2013-14 season Despite trade rumors during the 2013 offseason, Aldridge voiced his desire to stay put in Portland, while also asking for improvements to the Blazers roster. Aldridge started out his eighth NBA season strong, recording five straight double-doubles. From November 9 to November 17, on November 23, 2013, in a game against the Warriors, Aldridge was involved in an altercation after Warriors center Andrew Bogut became entangled with Joel Freeland. On November 25th, it was announced that he was fined $45,000 for escalating the incident. The very same day, Aldridge was named Western Conference Player of the Week for the fourth time in his career. The award came in the midst of an 11-game win streak for the Blazers during which Aldridge averaged 21.1 points, 11.3 rebounds, 2.5 assists, and 2.5 blocks per game. On December 12, 2013, Aldridge scored 31 points and grabbed a career-high 25 rebounds in a 111,104 victory over the Houston Rockets becoming the first player in Portland Trail Blazers franchise history with at least 30 points and 25 rebounds in a game. On January 23, 2014, Aldridge recorded a career-high 44 points along with 13 rebounds, 5 assists and 2 blocks in a 110,105 victory over the Denver Nuggets. The Trail Blazers went 31-10 over the first half of the 2014 season, consistently staying near the top of the Western Conference through the first three months of the season, and making a push for a return to the playoffs. Alongside teammate Damian Lillard, Aldridge was voted in as a reserve for the 2014 NBA All-Star Game, his third straight appearance. He finished fifth in the front court fan voting, garnering over 600,000 votes.
Aldridge suffered a lower back contusion during the third quarter of a game versus the Spurs on March 12, 2014. He missed the next seven games but returned in time to help the Blazers secure their 30th playoff berth and first since 2011. On April 20, 2014, Aldridge recorded a new career high and franchise playoff high of 46 points along with 18 rebounds, two assists, and two blocks in Game 1 of the opening round of the playoffs against the Houston Rockets which ended in a 122,120 overtime win for the Portland Trail Blazers. On April 23, 2014, in Game 2 of the Blazers series against the Houston Rockets, Aldridge tallied 43 points and 8 rebounds. He joins Michael Jordan, Jerry West, Allen Iverson, and Tracy McGrady as the only players in NBA history to score 89 or more points in the first two games of a playoff series. Over the entire six-game series, with Houston, Aldridge averaged 29.8 points and over 2.5 blocks per game. In the next series against the San Antonio Spurs, Aldridge struggled, shooting only 41.7% from the field, as the Blazers were handily defeated in five games. Ultimately, Aldridge had a career season in 2014, winning three Western Conference Player of the Week awards and recording career highs in points per game, rebounds per game, free throw percentage, defensive rebounds, and double-doubles. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.